And if you missed last night's debate, you can stream the whole thing right now, right on our website, cbsboston.com. And joining us now is the moderator of that debate, CBSN political analyst, John Keller. John, thanks for joining us live here. Thanks for having me. Good to see you, Kate. So we just saw a little bit of that exchange there about Mass and Cass. What went yeah. down there? What, what happened? Well, you know, this was not uh, Michelle Wu's best moment in a debate in which she generally, you know, easily held her own and thus prevented, I think, the debate from having any major impact on the arc of the race. We'll see about that. But uh, the reason why I say this wasn't a great moment is here, Asaibi George, you know, expressed some urgency about that terrible humanitarian crisis. Uh, down there uh, near the Boston City Hospital, the people living in tents, drug addiction, crime. Uh, she uh, said she would be eager to go ahead with, or, or, or to look seriously at some of the short-term solutions that have been proposed, uh, housing people in a, an empty Suffolk County jail building, uh, over at the Shattuck Hospital in Franklin Park. Uh, Michelle Wu talked about a 100-day audit of empty buildings to see about where they might be able to get these people in out of the cold. Well, I'm not real good at math, but uh, I, I calculate that 100 days takes us into late January. And by then, these poor people are going to be frozen stiff. So yeah. there was a, a disconnect there for Wu that I think is an issue she has to kind of clean up in these final weeks. I know they were trying to sort of accentuate their differences because yeah. they're so similar. Were they able to do that? What are the big differences? What happened last night with that? Well, uh, uh, Saibi George wants people to see the difference as a... Uh, somebody with a street-level sense of what's needed, a direct connection with people, uh, who uh, doesn't waste a whole lot of time on, on the vision thing. Remember the late, great Tomanino used to always talk about, oh, my critics say I don't have a vision. Well, you know, here's my vision. The streets are plowed, the trash is picked up, mm -hmm. you know, your playground, uh, you, there's a nice playground near where you live, that kind of thing. Right. Uh, the urban mechanic, they called him. Uh, this is the mode that uh, Saibi George is branding herself in. Uh, while Michelle Wu uh, does want to think bigger, uh, she constantly emphasizes she wants to reach for policies that may be difficult to achieve, for instance, uh, uh, returning rent control or rent stabilization to the city, uh, uh, making the MBTA largely free. Yeah, these are big ideas that are complicated, and uh, for people that want major sweeping change, it's very appealing, and that I think that's helped her rise to the top of the polls. That, I think, is the key difference in the way they're presenting themselves. Asaibi George has to hope that down the stretch she can make the case forcefully enough to persuade enough people that what they really want is more of an urban mechanic than a big thinker. This is just sort of my observation, wondering your thoughts on this. As an observer watching television, Asaibi George is flooding the airways with commercials versus Michelle Wu. Do you think that is going to play a part in all of this when push comes to shove at the end of the day, just sort of the, the campaigning through the television sets? It certainly doesn't hurt to be up on TV a lot. And, you know, you're going to see Michelle Wu unveiled a new ad the other day. She has plenty of money. I think you'll be seeing more of her. Uh, city politics is different from a statewide race or certainly a national race. The grassroots matters, particularly, we saw that in the low, the wicked low turnout preliminary election. And uh, there are some people who are smarter than me about city politics who are speculating that, I hate to say this, I don't want it to be a self-fulfilling prophecy, but that the turnout in November might not be uh, a big turnout either. In that case, your field organization, your ability to identify your voters, pull them out on the day or in the early voting period that begins on the 23rd and get them to the polls is crucial and could be decisive. And I don't think anyone doubts that Michelle Wu has the superior field organization honed over many years and involving many of the emerging activist groups that really make city politics go these days. Not that Asaibi George has nothing, mm -hmm. but I think there's an edge for Wu there. Ground game is so important. Absolutely. When it comes to it. Uh, lastly, who won? Anybody? Did either one of them win? Or? You know, uh, I, I'm going to give you the wishy-washy, fence-straddling, oh, <laughs> cover-my-you-know-what answer, Good. okay? Seems smart. Uh, uh, 
Anissa Asaibi George won on the micro level in that she was more energetic, mm -hmm. more dynamic, looked into the camera, and I think connected with viewers a little more than Michelle Wu. This is not Michelle Wu's ideal context. Uh, she's much better in small bore one-on-one -on -one or small groups. Uh, so I, I give her the check mark there. But in the broader sense, was the, did Michelle Wu make a blunder? Was she damaged by this debate? Is it somehow going to change the arc of a race that one poll has at a 30-plus point gap at right. this point? I didn't see that. So time will tell, but I'd give her the win in, in the broader sense, uh, Asaibi George the win in, in, the, in the more micro sense. I give you the win for the moderating, because that's really hard to do, and you did a great job, and you got them to give us some important information. So. I agree with you. <laughs> oh, I mean, John, thank you. <laughs> thank you, John. I appreciate okay. you joining right. us. John right. Keller, thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, early voting begins Saturday, October 23rd. It runs through Friday, October 29th. The last day to apply for a mail-in ballot is Wednesday, October 27th. You can drop off those ballots at the Dropbox in Boston through 8 p.m. on Election Day. Polls are open November 2nd, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m.